and that is how to create um, email newsletters. So one-time emails that you can use to inform your audience about anything that you have going on. So if you have a new blog post or you have a discount going on for your shop, then you can use email broadcasts to let your audience know about what's going on. So um, in Aweber, that's called broadcasts. So we go to messages on the top here and click on broadcasts. And then what I would suggest to use is the drag and drop email builder, which is the easiest one to use in my opinion. Click on that and that will open up the email builder that we've already seen before um, with our uh, automation sequence that we have built. So here you can again click on any element right there and then change everything right here. You can upload an image. You can also delete the entire section if you don't want to have an image on the top here. Um, the text obviously you want to make it your content blah 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 and um, also if you want to insert links you can just highlight the section that should be a link and then click on the link icon right here and then insert your link right there and then it will kind of get it will become a hyperlink um, for the design you can just drag in any images that you want to add right here um, or videos as well buttons um, you can also have like uh, coupons and stuff. So um, just play around with it a bit and then craft the email that you want to send out to your subscribers. To be honest, I usually just use text um, because it's uh, it's more kind of an email type and it, it's also when you use too many images and graphics, then it kind of hurts your deliverability rate. So a lot of uh, providers like Gmail, they will kind of put your email in the spam box because a lot of spam emails, they have a lot of images in there. So I try to not put in too many images inside of my emails. Um, so let's say your email is finished. Make sure you give it a good subject line on the top here. So um, you want to make it something um, that people will actually want to click on. So something like we have big news or something like that. So kind of a clickbaity title. And uh, you can also always personalize this. So we can um, click on personalize and say their full name. So we have big news, Simon, for example. Um, and then always preview. So preview and test on the top right and send it to your own email right here. And then check if everything worked, if it actually went to the inbox. So click send test message and then check if that works. You can also check out the mobile version, how it looks on the mobile phone before you actually send it out. Um, once you're done, go to the bottom right, click on save and exit. And here you can schedule your, um, your email. So just um, choose this one that we have just created, click on schedule. And here we get to the broadcast settings. So you could also share this with Facebook and Twitter. And um, here you see uh, who should receive this message. You see exactly what email list will receive this exact message. And then you can either send it out immediately, which is the default way, or if you click edit right here, you can also schedule it. So I could just send it tomorrow um, at let's say um, 10 a.m. and then click apply and then it's scheduled for tomorrow 10 a.m. Um, I have those ticked as well, except for email me um, when quick starts are available. So it also tracks the clicks in the message and um, then you just click on schedule message or send immediately and then you're basically done. Your email will be sent out once uh, where you've scheduled it or um, will be sent out immediately if that's what you went for.